This is our latest and greatest Jim Boss timer. The new timer has a removable belt clip. Insert your thumbnail underneath the tab, pop the belt clip off. There's also a spot for an optional lanyard. Put the belt clip back on, snaps in place. Start button is now on the top, set button right here, scroll down, scroll up, and there's also a reboot button on the side which can be activated with a pen or any sharp object. To turn the timer on, push any button. To turn the timer off, hold the set button for approximately three seconds. The timer will turn off. Again, any button, the timer's back on. There's three modes of this timer. This is the interval mode. To change to the stopwatch mode, push both buttons at once. Stopwatch displayed, you're now in the stopwatch mode, as indicated by the hundredths of a second. The next mode would be the clock mode. Again, push the up and the down buttons at the same time. Clock is indicated, and now the time is indicated. Back to the interval mode, both buttons at once again. You're now in the interval mode. To set up the Jim Boss timer, push the set button, setup will be displayed on the screen, and the variable you'll be changing will be flashing. When setup is no longer on the screen, it is exited setup. Push the set button, then increase one digit at a time, or down, decrease one digit. To scroll fast, simply hold it, and it'll scroll up fast. To add 10 minutes to either up or down while you're holding it, push the set button. We'll add 10 minutes. If you want to get it back down to one minute, simply push both buttons at the same time. Push set to move to set the next interval time. Again, hold it up to scroll fast. If you only want, desire one interval time, set it to zero. Zero you can reach by holding both at the same time. Move on to the next step, which would be to set the number of rounds or repeats. Setting it to zero, it'll count up the number of rounds you have completed. Or you can set anything from one through 99, and it'll count down that number of rounds to zero. In this case, 10 rounds. Push net set to move to this alarm type, beep high, beep low, vibrate, beep high and vibrate, beep low and vibrate. Next you push to set to move to set the alarm duration. This is a one second alarm duration, two second alarm duration, five or nine seconds. We'll go back to one second alarm. To back up through the start to the setup, you push the start button. It'll back you up through the setup. Push set to progress forward through it. When setup is no longer displayed on the screen, you're now ready to begin timing. For review, this is a one minute interval repeated 10 times, beep low alarm in the alarm duration of one second. At any time you can look at the clock by pushing the up button. Start the timer. Again, you can peek at the clock. To stop timing, hold the start button three seconds. An alarm indicates timing has stopped. To start timing, push the start button. The alarm will indicate timing has begun. If you'd like to pause the timer, push the start button three times. An alarm will indicate pause has been entered. To resume timing, simply push the start button again and another alarm will occur. To change the alarm type, you must be in pause. Push the set button and change it to beep high or anything you desire. You can change the alarm duration and push start when you're ready to resume. To abandon timing and start over completely, hold the start button for three seconds. 